Well, the whole last inning, really good at bats, starting, you know, Bobby, MJ, um, and then taking the walks. You know, Rayleigh's tough. I've seen a lot of him, and he can he can really get you to expand the zone. And our guys didn't do that. Um, and then when they went to the to the righty, big at bat from from Drew to take the walk. It's a good spot, the spot to get over anxious. Um, and then the the balk. I mean, I saw it. You know. Luckily, the umpires saw it too. I mean, they were they were locked in on it. I think what happened was the clock was running down. He may not have been able to hear the pitch come, and as he tried to step off, he fumbled or you know got his cleat caught or something like that. That's what it looked like to me. Talk about the offense there in the tenth, but just the execution when the opportunity <clears throat> presented themselves tonight seemed like it was pretty pretty well executed from your guys. Yeah, I mean, Izzy got the bunt down to get us the first run. Adovino is really tough on right. He's always has been. And for Salvi to move him over and Freddie to get him in, that's a big spot. And then, like you said, the tenth inning um, was was excellent at bats all the way through. With the uh... I guess what did you just see from Granky today to start? He was great. Um, it looked like he had real good command of all of his pitches. He was when he missed, they were really close misses, um, and he and he was able to keep the pitch count down against a good lineup. You know, I mean, Alonzo got him, and he's gotten a lot of people. And Granky came right back at him and gave us five solid. And then with Marsh coming in, uh, what's the plan there? What's the plan for tomorrow? Well, the plan for tomorrow is Reagan's. He's going to start tomorrow. Um, and the reason Marsh threw an inning is we're 99% sure he lines, he'll lines. he line up now for Yarbs' day, which is Saturday. Thank you. How do you feel like he did in, in relief there with that with that inning? Probably on short notice, I would assume. Well, he, he was told he was going to pitch today, assuming – Everybody was still here. You know, the, the original plan had everyone still been here is they probably would have gone bulk innings behind Granky. But when Yarbs got traded and the days started, things started to line up, then getting him an inning was probably, in our opinion, was better than having him throw a bullpen. When you look at Samad Taylor, what was your vantage point of his at bats today? Had a double off the wall, another single? Yeah, I mean, he's got sneaky pop. I mean, we saw it in spring training, um, and I'm happy for him because every time he goes down to AAA, he really puts up big numbers, and here he's played sporadically. Um, but for him to get in there and really contribute was nice. I mean, he's got he steals bags. He plays good defense, so we're excited to have him. How nice was it to pick up the bullpen a little bit after giving up five runs after the eighth inning? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not ideal that that's how you have to do it, but to fight right back is it's a team game. I mean, we won two to one the other day. The pitching was locked down, and today we needed some extra runs, and we were able to do it. You say about Mike Hell's composure, a couple of big abs, especially after uh, Alonzo can't. Yeah, that was a huge point in the game to get the second run that inning. Um, Mike Hell's he's done it. You know, I mean now however many at-bats he's got, he's shown a lot of composure in big spots. And it's not always easy to lead off. I mean, you get the extra at-bat every night. You know, you're, you're the first guy to see him, all that kind of stuff. So it was really impressive what he's done.